I got a fun little package from Kawaii Panda and this person reached out to me and asked if they could send me this little box of goodies and I think it comes from Japan and maybe a few other places as well but here it is. It is just kawaiipanda.com. Um, it says on here that there might be stationery and things like that. So without further ado, I guess we can go ahead and open this on up. Um, I'll post the direct link, of course, where you can get one of these in the description box below. But I think this is kind of like maybe a kawaii box. And I don't know if every single box has different items because it isn't run by a full-on company. But I think the concept is really cute, hence the name. So yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, stuff just flew out. Okay. Oh, smile, your order has arrived. Look at those adorable little pandas sticker right there. So cute. So here it says, Kawaii Panda. And it says, Dearest Amanda, as promised, here is the surprise kawaii box I prepared for you. I really hope you like the selection of cuteness I handpicked specially for you and that this little surprise box will make your day cuter. Thank you so much for this opportunity and for sharing it with your followers. Kawaii and panda lover Sandra. And here is the cute little logo again. I love that they have their own little paper or little stationary memo sheets that is so cute so i see a plush sticking out right here i can kind of see it but anyway there is hot pink tissue paper which i love and then the little white panda sticker we're gonna open this up ah she's so cute look at it so here is what's inside Oh, precious little bait. Oh gosh, I'm just dropping everything out. Okay, let me not look. Oh my gosh, I just saw Pusheen. You guys are seeing better view than I am right now. So first and foremost is this adorable little ram baby. It says Heartful Girly Wooly, and it is the Amuse brand. They are the same ones who make Al Picasso. So she is so precious. I love her little bow and she's just so soft and squishy and the little tail right there <laughs> this is so cute i see this oh, i'm obsessed with this okay there is a macaron squishy keychain and i'm just gonna go ahead and use scissors to open this real quick <gasps> oh, okay <laughs> what even was that sound i'll get there in a second Look at this little macaron squishy. It is so cute. You guys know my heart. Uh, macarons have my heart. You guys know I work at a bakery where I make these and fill them with all good fillings and things. But this is so awesome. This is going directly on my purse. I love this. It is so cute. There is the little tag and everything. This is so precious. I love it. It's so pink. <laughs> okay, then we have this little ball right here. And I love how there's little bows on everything. I think that is like the cutest little touch. So I think this is like one of those gash ponds or gasha ponds. I'm not sure how you pronounce those exactly. But I think that's kind of what this one is. One of those little surprise egg toys. And I'm going to try and open it up there's lots of tape on here so give me a second i got it open so oh is this like does this light up is this supposed to light up oh it's got one of those things in it okay hold on all right so it is this little there's also a little uh like collector sheet here which I'll show you guys in a second but it's a little keychain and it is Kori Lakuma as a little ice cream cone and it has one of these little pieces of plastic that you pull out from the back and then supposedly there are all the ones that you can collect and then it tells you like the little door with the batteries and all that stuff and there's batteries in it but I think it's supposed to light up but it oh, wait Wait, it's working! It's working! It's lit! It's lit up! Guys, it's lit! Here, hold on. <laughs> Let me flip my lights off for a second. This probably is not gonna do anything. No. Okay, that just changed my... my... Okay, can you see? 
Can you see? It is lit up. It is, it is, it is yellow. <laughs> This is like the worst angle video ex explanation ever. I don't know. Anyway, it works. It's lit up. So I'm going to turn it off before the batteries completely die. <laughs> but it's a very cute little keychain. And regardless if it lights up or not, it is precious and I'm still going to use it. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. I'm way too excited here. What is, what, what, what? Okay. <sighs> okay. There's an Al Picasso pin. Let me just rip this open here. There we go. Much easier. <laughs> oh, I love it. It is a little blue clicky pin and it has little alpacas all over it. This alpacaso. And it just clicks. Okay, I'm like super impressed with this box already. This box is better than Kawaii box, to be honest. It's like way better. I don't know how much these run. But um, the, the links will be in the description box so you guys can check out how much they are and everything. So this, it just says Kawaii Panda and it has the little business card right here. So if you guys want to pause the screen, you can follow them on all of this stuff and go to their websites and everything. I'll also try to include that information. And then that... Um, that little panda that was on the sticker when you first opened the box, they have a pin, a little button pin with that same panda on it. And I love it. It's so cute. This will look adorable on like a backpack or a purse or a lanyard. So cute. So there's that. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are adorable. I believe these are little band-aids. I'm not going to, well, I guess I could open them and see if they have like plastic. They do. Okay. So they have like little plastic coverings. So I'll just show you them as is. These are so cute. Look at these little band-aids. I love it. I love the little chocolate bar ones. They're so adorable. So there's a little pack of them and you get quite a few. It looks like 15, I think is what the box says. So that's, that's good. You get quite a bit. I don't really use band-aids a lot lately, thank goodness, because I don't really get hurt too often. So, uh, yeah, these are cute though, so they should last me a while, which is great. Okay, I keep seeing like more, <gasps> oh, I don't even want to open this. I don't even want to open this, you guys. It's a My Little Pony button, but it's in this special little collector's bag. Look at how cute. And it's heart shaped and it's like one of those pin back buttons. Just like the panda one a second ago. So cute. I don't it just says badge collection. I don't I don't even want to take this out of the package. It's so precious. I love it. You are so thoughtful picking all these things out to send me. Thank you. Okay, then we have this Donald and Daisy book. And I love this 500 times more now that I've opened it. So it is Donald and Daisy Duck. As you know, I love Disney things. And you open it up and it just looks like this, but then you open it up and it's got all of these little sticky notes in it and these little pa pa page flags. It's always hard for me to say that. I always end up saying page flags or something, but page flags. And all these cute little baby sticky notes. I love them. These are perfect to use in planners. I am obsessed with this. This is adorable. Ah, thank you. Thank you. This is so cute. I'm so impressed. Okay. Then we have this. I'm just going to go ahead and look at it. I haven't even looked at it yet. All I saw was this. It says Disney Marie. And it has the Kawaii uh, Panda logo. I'm just gonna, this is like a little sleeve, so I'm just gonna slide this off. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It says, ladies do not start fights, but they can finish them. Hello, I am Marie, I like Paris. I think it's supposed to say, I am Marie, I like Paris, and do like a little rhyme. Oh my gosh, it's just a cute little memo pad. But look it, there is in the back, <gasps> Look at her, and then like you flip forward, oops, and then it changes like halfway through. And then there's this one. Look at how cute it is though, I love these. 
Oh, I'm gonna use these so much. I am obsessed. This is so cute. Okay, the Donald and the Marie thing, those are those are great. Okay, now there's two more things in here. There is a little Pusheen blind box, and there is this thing that appears to be Hello Kitty something, kind of wrapped up in this little protective packaging. So, since this is the biggest, I want to open it now, and then we'll do the unboxing of the little mystery Pusheen in a minute. This looks so cute. I don't even know what it is. Oh! Okay, so it's a tin. You can see it's like a little tin. Oh, it's empty. Okay, it says, Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty and she loves me. This is adorable. Okay, so I know I just did recently my February favorites. Um, actually, maybe not. I don't know. I was going to say this would be perfect for makeup brushes because I mentioned my Marie little silicone pencil pouch that would be perfect for makeup brushes for travel. And I was just thinking this would be even better because it's like a tin and it would like clean out very easy but it's kind of like thin it's not like too wide right here so I don't know if it'll fit a lot of brushes in it maybe just like smaller travel sized ones that would be great but this is so cute I'm trying to decide what I can use this for exactly but it's so pastel and just perfect and I love how it opens just like a book it's so it's so cute it's so pretty I'm I have I, I'm obsessed with this I love it okay now, dun -da -da -da, we have the mystery pusheen. So what is this? Okay, interchangeable pieces. Choose your cat, choose your place, make your creation. Mini plush, surprise plush. Oh, okay, here's the surprises. Collect them all. And here are what they all look like. So cute, I love them. Okay, so I think I want, I either want the one in the middle that is like the Siamese cat with the little bow tie on the piano. Or I want the one in the little mixing bowl. And then of course there's a mystery one that we don't know what it is. And it, the person who sent this does not know what it is either because it is completely sealed. And it is a blind bag within a box, just like this. Has a little tag right here, nothing too fancy. It's on the bag itself, it's not on the actual plush. Oh gosh, can I even open this? I feel like Graveyard Girl doing these little blind bag unboxings. <laughs> I cannot open this. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this one even on here? <gasps> you guys, I think we got the mystery. Wait. No, we didn't. Okay. I thought we got the mystery one for a split second. Here is the little kitty. Oh my gosh, it is detachable too. That is the cutest thing. Okay, so here's our little kitty in the little cat bed and it is velcro so you can like take this out and this is what it meant by um choose your cat choose your place meaning like the little cardboard boxes or like the little mixing bowl or the piano they are detachable so you can like interchange your cats like in each place or with each little thing and i think that's so cute and they are keychains so you can hang them I am very highly impressed and I 100% recommend this. Now, again, this box I think was a little bit more custom to me because she already knew like my favorites and what I like and so she wanted to send me a box that contained some of the items that I like the best. I think that these are just like surprise mystery boxes though that you can get. I don't know 100% sure if they're like subscription boxes and again I'm not sure if every box gets the exact same goodies but it would be cool if there was a place um, on their site where you could like input your favorite characters or items or things like that so that they could make the box kind of custom to you. Again, I have no idea. I don't really know a lot about it. I haven't researched too much and I kind of feel bad doing that or not doing that, I should say. But from what I've I try not to research things too much when I get items like this because I just want to go off of my own experience and my own personal review and unboxing of it. I don't want to like dig too deep into the history of the company and things like that. Um, and I love helping out smaller shops like this to get noticed because sometimes it's super hard to do nowadays. 
um, especially with social media. There's just so many new shops and so many people and it's really hard to get your name out there and get recognized. So I love working with little shops like this, even like Etsy shops sometimes. And I am super impressed. I absolutely love this box. I don't know. Obviously, my favorite item is going to have to be the little Marie memo notepad because you guys know Marie is near and dear to my heart. Um, but everything else is just so good. And it's all such good quality. And it's all like brand name stuff. It's not like knockoff, like Dollar Tree things or anything like that. Um, it's all like brand name. I highly recommend Kawaii Panda. Go check them out. Thank you so much, Sandra, for sending me this amazing box of cute goodies. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Sandra. And with that being said, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I showed in this video. And with that, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!